Okay, hope you can see my screen. Yes. Can anyone yes. please confirm? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when it uh, comes with respect to the quarterfinal level, so it's called quarterfinal level asanas are same to all the age groups. So there are different events in yoga asana competitions. When it comes to this class, we are going to focus only on traditional yoga asana. Okay, let me quickly share about the option, uh, the quarterfinal asanas. So we welcome everyone for the World Yoga Asana, Yoga Asana Sports Training Program for athletes, coaches, judges, and, and other people. So quarterfinal level, these are the asanas we are going to learn. So the first one is Pada Hastasana, also known as Uttana Padasana. The second one is Ushtrasana, the camel pose. And the third one is Vakrasana. And the fourth one is Vrukshasana, the tree pose. And the fifth one is Uttana Padasana. So we are going to uh, know about each and every asana with uh, key judging points. First one is Ut Pada Hastasana. So this is also known as Uttanasana. So this is the first asana, Uttanasana 2. So what is meant by Uttana? Uttana in Sanskrit means the intense stretch. So this particular asana gives an intense stretch at the backside of the body. So this is also known as Pada Hasta Asana. Pada means leg, Hasta means hands. Asana, which we are going to do with the help of the hands placing near the legs, near the foot, is known as Pada Hasta Asana. Hands to legs pose. So in this asana, final posture, when you do uh, the final posture, so you will be judging the asana with uh, some key judging points. Meaning to say, based on these key judging points, an athlete will be awarding marks. So one of them is both legs must be joined. So your legs need to be joined together. There must be no gap between the legs. Knees straight. So knees as straight as possible. If knees is bent, so mark will be deducted. Spine need to be straight. And palms flat at the back of the heels. Stomach, chest touching the legs and forehead touching the shin bone. If you observe, there is no gap between the thighs and the chest and forehead. So the thighs need to be touched with the stomach and chest area and head needs to be touched with the shin bone. Shin bone is the bone which is below the knee. Okay, that is shin bone. So this is Uttanasana. Let's go back to the initial slide. So these are the five asanas. And the first one is Uttanasana. The second one is Ustrasana. Ustra means camel in Sanskrit. So in Uttanasana, we have a certain key judging points. Let's see them. Both legs must be joined. So we are seeing from the side view. So if you see from the side, the both ankles, both knees, we can't see whether they are joined together or not. However, it is to clarify you that they need to be joined together. Knees straight. Knees need to be straight. And spine need to be straight. Palms placing flat on the back of the heels. So we need to place our palms on the heel area. Stomach. Oh, sorry. So there is some texture there. Right? Okay, let me explain the key judging points. So both ankles, knees need to be joined together and heels need to be placed on the heels from the back and drop your head back. 
here thigh bone need to be as straight as possible right the next one is vakrasana vakra means twisted so this asana is a twisted asana so simple asana extended knee straight with the toe pointed outside so one leg is straight that is extended knee the extended leg so that need to be straight and toe pointed outside so in this picture toe is uh, kept normal however it need to be pointed outside hold your leg catch it by opposite hand gripping big toe with a four finger middle finger and thumb so hand need to be catch the big toe with a grip of the four finger thumb and middle finger other hand supported at the back fingers pointed outside head need to be turned backward so spine is twisted backward Vrukshasana, the three pose. So fold your knee in alignment with the thigh of the straight leg. So the this in this picture, for example, the fold your knee is right leg. So the particular leg heel need to be placed on the thigh. So the heel need to be touched to the perineum. Perineum means the base of the spine. So the center point of the base of the spine. So it need to be touched at the perineum. The heel need to touch at the perineum. Both hands stretched up in Namaskara Mudra. So Namaskara Mudra, we need to join together two palms and rise it up. Upper arms should touch ears. So the upper arms need to be touched to the ears. So it means the ears supposed to be closed by the both hands. Elbows extension. Elbows need to be extended as straight as possible. Balancing leg should be straight. So the leg balancing leg in this picture is left leg. It needs to be as straight as possible. Okay, let's go back. And the last one is Uttana Padas. The both legs need to join together and rise up to 30 degrees angle. Your head. Both hands, spine placed on the floor. So these are the five quarterfinal level asanas. In the third asana, Vakrasana, so the, uh, in the third asana, there is some typing error is there. I'll, yeah, I will edit them and I'll share the, this PPT in the WhatsApp group. Now we will proceed with the practical session so that you can relieve all your doubts. Okay. So can we proceed with the, the practical session? In, if you touch on the screen, there is an option called more. So in the more, if you click, there is a symbol, thumbs up symbol. You can show thumbs up symbol so that we can proceed. Or otherwise, you can show uh, virtually thumbs up so that we can proceed. You ready? OK. Yes, many, many thumbs up have come. Many thumbs ups have come, which means that we cannot <laughs> proceed. The practical people are waiting. Yeah, just give me a minute. Let me set up my uh, place so that uh, I can proceed further. Just give me a minute.
Recording in progress. So yes. please, uh, yeah, please stand up. Let's get started. All participants, try to go with him. Okay. I'm going to do uh, some sukshma vayama, some preparatory practices. After that, we'll be proceeding with the asana, okay? So interlock your hands at the heart center and extend frontally. So you can see from the side view, action like this. From the heart center, inhale, extend outside. Exhale, back to heart center. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now I'm going to rise it up. Inhale, up. Exhale, back to heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, back to heart center. Continue, up. Back to heart center. Up. Back to heart center. Up. Back to heart center. Again. So everyone is doing so nice. Next, leg support. Keep your leg support. Legs wider. Okay. Inhale. Rise your hands up. While you exhale, bend to the right side. Good. Very good. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale to the right side. Inhale up. Exhale to the left side. Up. Right. Up. Left. Up. Release your hands. Leg support. Close your eyes for a moment. Observe your entire system. Smile. Keep a beautiful smile on your lips. Relax your eyebrows. You can observe side of the body, right hand side and left hand side of the body. You can also observe the entire spine, entire body. Now, legs, shoulder width. Legs is about shoulder width. Join your palms together at the heart center. Now we are going to rise our hands, balancing on our toes. Inhale, rise your hands up, balance on your toes. Exhale, back to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale back to heart center. Heels down. Inhale up. Exhale back to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale back to heart center. One more last time. Inhale up. Hold the position for uh, five breathing cycles. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three, four. Five. Release. Like support, close your eyes and observe yourself. Okay. Now, let's do forward bending. Support your palms. Support your palms to the back. Your fingers pointing upward. So you can see my fingers is pointing upward. Right now, keep your both knees straight. Gap between your legs is about shoulder width. Now, keep your knees straight, slowly bend backward a little bit and slowly bend forward. Try to touch the floor if possible. Good, very good. Inhale, go back. Keep your knees straight, support your hands to the back. Exhale, bend forward. Fantastic. Doing so nice. Inhale. Do back bending. Exhale. Do forward bend. Do five more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Very good. Exhale. 
Simran Gupta, can you please uh, follow the instructions? So I can do other asanas later. Please follow the instructions to forward backward bending. Okay, relax. Raghavendra ji, please make uh, Jignesh co-host. Jignesh. Okay. Just a moment. Jignesh. We did our preparatory, some preparatory practices to the upper body. Let's do some of them to the lower body. Support your hands. Rise your right leg up. Flick your leg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Change your leg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, again, right leg rotate. Two, three, four, five, six. Opposite, two, three, four, five, six. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six. Opposite, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Again, right leg. This time, instead of bending your leg, keep a knee straight. Right leg, keep your knee straight. Ankle up and down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Change your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Now, fold your both legs. Now fold your both hands. Sorry. <laughs> fold your right leg. Interlock your hands. Try to catch your knee. Hold the position. If possible, stretch it up. Stay for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Release. Do it with the other leg. Fold your leg. Interlock your hands. Stretch it up. Try to balance. One, two, three. Four, five, release. Okay. Next, we'll we'll do some forward and backward twisting together. There is a, a practice called Sharira Sanchalana. So we'll be doing all these things uh, simultaneously. Simply have an eye, and let's do together. Okay. Stand straight. Follow after me. Legs apart, raise your hands. One. Raise your hands up. Two. Bend to the right side. Three. As much as possible. Four. Come back. Five. To the left side. Ra Raghavendra ji, sorry. Can I make a small yeah. announcement? All the yes, participants, please. please try to appear. If you are in visible mode, it's a matter of encouragement to the coach. Please try to come into visible mode and keep your speakers muted. And please follow his steps so that you can practice very well. Thank you, Rangu Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So you just uh, yeah. gave me an opportunity to start from the beginning. <laughs> come to Samastiti. Yeah, please uh, mute yourself. Uh, Jignesh Ji, can you please do forward bending? Nine. Ten. Raise your hands up. Eleven. To the side. Twelve. Twist to the right side. Thirteen. Fourteen. To the left side. Fifteen. Back to the position. Now your right hand. Sixteen. Opposite leg, try to touch it and look up through hand. 17, back to position. 18, other side. Look up. 19, 20, initial position. Fantastic. You are uh, awesome. So let's try to do a little, little bit faster. Simply look at me and follow the instructions. Are you ready? Show your thumbs up. You ready? Okay, please. Samastiti. Jump. One. Fantastic. Two. To the right side. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven backward, eight, nine forward, ten, eleven to the side, twelve, twist, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, your right hand, opposite leg, sixteen, look up, seventeen, eight. 18, 19, and 20. Fantastic. Okay. Now, I'll be demonstrating one uh, preparatory practice for forward bendings. The first asana is Uttana, Uttana Asana 2 or Padahasta Asana. So, for that, we need to do some forward bending. So, that I am going to demonstrate as a simple forward bending technique. So you have to lock your hands like this, raise your hands like this, and uh, catch the elbow of the other hand with both hands, okay? Just observe me. You need to keep your legs in shoulder width. Do forward bending from the base of the spine. And look front side on the floor. Just move up and down your entire upper body by keeping your both knees straight. Just do centimeter by centimeter up and down. We'll do for 30 seconds, 30 counts. Got it? Ready. Take position, rise both hands, catch your elbows, keep your uh, legs shoulder width, slowly bend forward from the base of the spine by keeping your knees straight. Slightly do up and down. You can do short breathing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Both knees straight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Inhale very slowly. Come up. Exhale. Raise your hands. Keep your eyes closed. Do not move. And observe your legs entire body. Keep a beautiful smile. You may feel the intense stretch at the back side of the body, especially behind the knees and the calf muscles. That's quite common when we do this uh, stretching. This is our, our preparation for the Padahastasana. Now I'm going to demonstrate Padahastasana. Just observe. Recording stopped. Okay, we'll do together. Please stand up. Okay. Join your legs together. If you are absolute beginner, you may take a little bit of gap between your legs. So if you have a a little bit of practice, you can join legs together. So when it comes to competition, we need to follow the key judging points given in the syllabus. Okay, join legs together. Rise your hands from the side. Rise it up. Stretch your hands up, up, up. Now from the base of the spine, slowly bend forward. Slowly, slowly. Try to touch the floor. If you are a beginner, try to touch the floor. And then slowly try to place the hands on the floor. And later, you take your both hands backward and supporting your hands back side of the leg and doing forward bending. Try to stay for uh, three to five seconds. When you're ready, release. Inhale, rise both hands up. Exhale from the side, release your hands. So fantastic. 
I'm going to observe all of you. You're going to do one more round. Ready position. Okay, inhale, rise your both hands from the side. Exhale, bend slowly forward. Keeping your knees as straight possible. Try to touch the floor if you are a beginner. And slowly try to place your palms on the floor. And keep your hands backward. Back side of the shin bone, your legs. Try to slowly bend forward. Touching your stomach, chest, head to the legs. Fantastic. Inhale, slowly rise your hands up. Very good. Fantastic. Exhale. Release. Fantastic. Everyone is doing so nice. Okay. So now keep your legs apart. Close your eyes. Relax your eyebrows. Keep beautiful smile on your lips and just relax. Okay. Ready for the second half now? Show thumbs up. Superb. So let me demonstrate pulse. You observe. We will do practice together. Okay. First observe. Come near to the camera. Observe me. Now I'm slowly folding one one of my legs and sitting on my okay. Folding another leg and sitting on the leg. This is called Vajrasana. I'm slowly standing on the knees. Rising both hands up. From here, we have to rise one of the hand. In here. And see backward. While exhaling, place your palm on the heel. Fantastic. Observe. Another hand, inhale up. Exhale, place on the another heel. Now push your lower back forward. Drop your head. When you are releasing, inhale, rise one of the hand. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise another hand. Exhale, release. Sit on your legs. Place your both palms on the floor. And slowly bend forward and relax. This relaxation asana we call ball asana, baby pose. Okay? Let's do together. Now you are in a standing position. Look at me, follow step by step. Raise your both hands in front of you. If you are an elderly person, you don't need to do all these steps and all. Bend and keep one of the knee, then another knee. Okay, so there is an option. You can sit on the Vajrasana, you can start from the Vajrasana, otherwise, you can start directly from the kneeling position. Okay, now I am rising my left hand in here while exhaling, placing on the left heel, and in here, rise your right hand up. Place on the right knee. Now push your lower back forward. Drop your head. If you are a beginner, I suggest you to do half Ustrasana. If you can't able to do the Ustrasana, just look at me. You can support your both hands to the back. As we did a backward bending in the beginning, you can slowly bend backward. Push your lower back forward and do the asana. This is preparation. If you do this preparatory asana for a couple of times, so your spine prepares for the main asana so that you can do the asana. Okay? For the sake of easing, let's do this uh, uh, Ardha Vishtrasana. Support your hands to your back. Your fingers pointing upward. Now push your lower back forward. Slowly drop your head back. Stay there. Normal breathing. One, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स इनहेल स्लोली अप एक्सहेल स्लोली सिट ऑन यू लेग्स प्लेस पांच ऑन द फ्लोर बेंड फॉरवर्ड एंड जस्ट रिलैक्स डू नॉर्मल ब्रीथिंग okay now whoever can able to do do the full ustrasana on your knees raise your hands up inhale raise one of the hand exhale place on the heel forward drop your head back stay there normal breathing now release inhale raise your hand up exhale release Inhale, another hand rise up. Exhale, release. Slowly sit on your knees. Slowly bend forward. Rest your forehead on the floor. Just relax. Okay. Now slowly come and sit on your legs. So there are various ways to release from this position. I do prefer to sit on the one of the side. Of the body and just release the legs like this. That's it. So simple. Okay. So first asana we have completed Pada Hastasana. Second one is Ustrasana. The third one is Vakrasana. Okay. Let me let me teach a simple spine twisting practice. After that we'll be doing Vakrasana. Raise both hands like this. Yeah. Need to place. One side, supporting one of the hand to the leg, another hand placing on the floor, and seeing backward, trying to do basic twist. Good, see backward. Very good. Release, and other side placing the hands on the floor, supporting one of the hand to the leg, another hand on the place placing on the floor. See backward. See, try to do basic twist. Fantastic. Let's do again. Right side. Place your both hands on the floor and twist. See backward. Left side. Twist. See back. Two more time. Right side. Left side. Right. Left. Last time. Right. And left. Fantastic. This is a basic uh, twisting practice. Now. I'm going to demonstrate the Vakrasana. Please observe. We'll practice together. Clear? You ready? Fantastic. Okay. So this is initial position I am adapting. This is called Dhandasana. Now I'm going to do practice with my left leg. So I am folding my left leg. Okay. Do not do. Just observe. Don't do. Just observe. I am folding my left leg so that I have to raise the opposite hand, which is opposite hand. Since I am moving my left leg, folding left leg, I am raising my right hand up, supporting my left hand on the floor like this. Now, taking my knee inside, taking my knee inside, trying to catch my big toe with the help of the thumb, forefinger and middle finger. Again, just observe. I am folding my left leg. Opposite hand, I am rising up and taking knee inside, placing the other hand back side. Now trying to catch the big toe. If you are absolute beginner, you can keep your hand like this when you are doing basic twisting. If you do for several times, several days, so you automatically improve your twisting so that you can catch your big toes. After this, you need to. See backward and twist your spine a little bit backward. So you have to completely twist your spine. You have to see backward through your shoulder. So you have to do normal breathing here. When you are releasing, inhale, raise your hand up. Exhale, release the hand. Then release the leg. Hope it is clear. Let's join 
and practice together. Come to initial position, Dandasana. Quick, fantastic. So make sure that you are uh, visible in the video so that I can see, I can correct. That's nice. Good, good, okay. So let's start with the left leg. Hold your left leg up to your uh, foot coming to this side of the right knee. Holding leg completed. What is the opposite hand? In my case, right hand. Okay. Raise your right hand. Take your knee inside of the body. Mean to say your hand is supposed to be outside, other side of the body. Good. No, no, you don't need to move the leg. You just need to take the opposite hand. So let me come a little bit closer so that you can have much more clarification. Okay, see properly. I am demonstrating again. See properly. I am folding my left leg. Is that clear? And supporting the left hand on the floor. Now folding hand is done. What I am doing, raising my right hand and folding, taking knee inside the body, towards the body. And this hand is coming way opposite side to my body. Getting my point? Then catching big toe. See back. Clear? I'll do frontally so that you can understand much better. You can see again, I am folding my left leg. This is my right hand. I'm supporting the left hand, back side. Holding the hand, taking knee inside, and catching big toe, seeing back there. When you are releasing, inhale, raise your hand up, exhale, release, and release under the leg, and release the hands. Is that clear? Let's practice together. Yes, sir. Ready? Yes. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm doing diagonally so that I can observe and I can do a language. Fold your uh, left leg first. Okay, raise your right hand. Support your left hand on the floor. Fold your hand and take your knee inside. Okay, fantastic. Catch your big toe if possible. And slowly. While exhaling, see backward by twisting your spine. Do normal breathing. Inhale, exhale. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly turn your head, rise your hand. Inhale, up. Exhale, place on the floor. Release the leg. Fantastic. That's easy. Let's do other side. Starting position. I am folding right leg this time. Okay. Supporting the right hand on the floor. Inhale, rise opposite hand. That is my left hand. Fold and take your knee inside. Fantastic. If possible, try to catch the big toe. Still there. Inhale. While exhaling. See back, three, four, and five. Ready? Yeah, let's do. Okay, let me demonstrate first. Closely observe, after that we'll do it again. So this is the initial position. Samastiti we call. From here, what I do, I'm doing by folding my right leg. I'm folding my right leg from the side, trying to place on the thigh. So if you observe, there is no gap between my body and the heel. So legs need to be side, to the side. It's supposed not to be front side, need to be side. And keep as high as possible, touching your perineum and balance yourself. When you get the balance, join your palms together, 
inhale rise it up so that your the hands closes your ears look straight and try to stay in the position with normal breathing when you are releasing you can release your hands first then you can release your leg there is another way also you can also raise your hands from the side let's say like this as a way you can do or you can also try new ones however the way you adapt needs to be simple and easy and attractive okay let's do it together take position starting position samasthiti samasthiti on your mat now support your both hands on your waist join your legs together now slowly fold your uh, right leg slightly placing your toes on the floor slowly lift up and you can support your take your hand for the support and try to keep it is as high as possible now balance inhale rise your hands up fantastic close your ears with your hands do normal breathing one Two, three, four, five. Now slowly release your hands and release your leg. Very good. Leg support. Close your eyes. Just observe your body. Observe your leg. Observe your sides of the body. You can also observe your shoulders. Let's do other side. join your legs together support your hands on the waist hold your leg place on the thigh and raise your hands up make sure that you join palms together for 5 seconds so in the hold 1 2 3 4 and 5 release release your leg Leg support. Close your eyes and just relax. Okay, let's one more time. This time I I will be observing you. Okay, so ready? Take position. Okay, lift your right leg. Place on the right side. Ready? Take position. Let's start. Ah, uh, you can drag your leg with the help of the another hand, so that uh, you are placing on the thigh properly. Rehana, Rehana Valley from Zambia. Ah, uh, you have to, uh, ma'am. Can you please try to place the thigh from the side? Rehana Valley. Yes, sir. yeah you are doing so nice yeah you need to keep leg from the side not from the front side okay you can observe the co participants on the gallery so that you can have some clarity fantastic good very good release good release slowly good good Let's do practice other side. Okay, fold the leg, place on the thigh. Good. Try to balance slowly. Raise your hands up. And at now, scar sticky. Wait for a five seconds. Two. Three. Four, five. Slowly release. Okay, fantastic. Okay, we'll be doing the last asana for the day. Just come near to the camera and observe. After that, we'll be uh, closing the practice session. 
के स्टेप्स Initial position. This initial position. Now, I'm going to place my both hands on the side of the body. Palm supporting to the floor. No, keeping the entire body firmly on the floor to thirty degrees and change the position. After that, you can relax and shavasana. Make sure that your picture is visible to us so that we can give corrections. Lie down on the floor. Let's do it together. Join your legs. Raise your both hands on the floor and place the both palms. Both hands from the side of the body, turning your palms down side so that it supports to the earth. Now, adjusting, keeping your uh, trunk straight and head straight, this angle. Three, four, five. Slowly bring it down. Keep your legs apart. Hands apart. Close your eyes. Just relax. Okay, let's do another time. One more time. Join your legs together. Raise your hands up. Now slowly bring your hands and place the side of the body. You are placing towards the floor. Keep your body straight. Slowly lift your both legs in 30 degrees angle. Stay in the position. Three. Four. Five. Release. Good. Very good. Almost all of you did fantastic. So one or two people is rising legs more than required. Of course, uh, no problem. They might be confusing with the degrees and all. So when we practice uh, for uh, a few times, so it will be automatically uh, done properly. Right? So... Hope you enjoyed the session. Yes. If you did so, show a thumbs up so that we can feel so happy. Fine. Now, so if you have any questions, you can ask us so that uh, we'll clarify. And today we are we didn't focus the, too much on the key judging points. Okay. We just uh, wanted you to do practice along with yeah. us. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to do the same practice. However, we are doing to so, going to do a little bit faster, and we'll continue further. Yes, please, Rihanna Valley from Zambia. Uh, how are we supposed to do that uh, balancing uh, asana? Can you, can you please repeat again? How can you do the tree pose again? Tree pose again. Okay. Let's do so, balancing. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me show the leg position by sitting on the floor so that you can understand the leg position. Okay. So don't mind. I'm showing the legs. Now, how are you supposed to do? You have to fold your leg and you have to touch this foot to the side of the thigh here. Like this. Should not do like this. Getting the point? Like this. Okay. Let me do by standing. I have to keep the foot on the thigh, from the side, not from the front side. Hope you got it. From the side. This is yes, proper le leg position. Yeah. Good. Any questions? Thank you, sir. Yeah, most welcome. Any more questions?
No, sir. I okay. So uh the so would you like to ask any questions? You may ask the questions. Tomorrow we'll be doing the the same asanas the revision, and after that we are proceeding further. Ravinder sir, I think question नहीं है तो आप prayer करवा दीजिए। Yeah yeah, okay. Yes, before prayer, Ravinder, I I appreciate. We all appreciate. It's a good start. Yes, but it was a little late, but it is very good. And in this pace, the way by which you are going in the speed, concentrating and telling the. Uh, students, athletes, to concentrate. I think we will go very good, long way with the good practice and good score. I and this you may continue. We are together, and we will try to increase this side. All the best. We can go ahead. Jairam, boy, you pray. Do it. 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 अपने आरती बहन को नहीं तो मैं करवा दूंगा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आरती आरती बहन करवा देंगे प्लीज आरती बहन आरती बहन को मैंने बोला है आरती बहन प्लीज शांति पाठ यस 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 वेरी गुड वेरी वेल यस Palms at the center of your heart. Namaskar Mudra. Inhale deeply. Salve Bhavantu Sukhina. Salve Sukhina. Amaya. सर्वे Apply your palms over your eyelids. Looking into your palms, turn slowly over your eyes. Namaskar. Thank you. Yes. Uh, though there were some hiccups in the beginning, which we hope to rectify tomorrow mm. onwards, we are very much hopeful that it's going to be very exciting. <clears throat> teacher taught relation and the exercises to be learned by everybody please all the participants my request to you is please pass on the word to the